Today I'm going to be showing you how to get TouchWiz, Samsung TouchWiz 4 on your Samsung Galaxy S running ice cream sandwich or gingerbread, anything about gingerbread. So first of all I'm going to show you guys that it's real, so legit. I'm running Cyan Engine Mod um, 9 right now, the alpha build, build 17 for my Samsung Captivate. And I installed um, the TouchWiz 4 launcher over it. So as you can see, oops, everything is very smooth. It's very smooth. There's absolutely no lag. Um, for my NS tool settings, I'm running it at 1.3 gigahertz, so it's overclocked. But even at 900 megahertz, or if you, even if you underclock it or anything like that, there's still no lag. I personally prefer the TouchWiz interface over the stock Cyanogen mod or stock Google interface because it's just more smooth in my opinion. See, as you can see, no lag. So let's get to the installation. So first, you gotta download a zip file, a Clockwork mod recovery um, flashable zip file from the XDA thread in the description. I will post the link in the description. Then um, you reboot into recovery. If your ROM doesn't have the option to reboot into recovery, you could just um, turn on your phone and then go into recovery with the three button combo method holding your power button and your volume rockers, both of them. And just gotta wait for a couple seconds. Alrighty, so go to install zip from SD card, choose zip. And by the way, this works for all of the Galaxy S models, including the i9000, the Vibrant, the Captivate, of course, etc., etc. So go to the folder wherever you put the file at. It doesn't matter where you put it. Then it should be called... Um, oh yeah, update.touchwiz4.ics.zip. So press enter and press yes, install. Then it's going to install it and it's going to say installation complete. Then you reboot your phone and choose Samsung TouchWiz when prompted to. And there you go. You got Samsung TouchWiz 4 running on Samsung Galaxy S. Thanks for watching guys. Remember to comment, rate, and subscribe.